Hi everybody, and today we're going to be doing an experiment on bouncing balls. My name is Phil and I'm in MySpace and today you're going to need some complex equipment. You're going to need Lee Rota 1, August, Lee Rota Do. Ball 1 and Ball 2. And literally it's about just bouncing balls and seeing what happens and making predictions to what questions I'm going to ask you. And it's do with bouncing, like I said, bouncing balls. So you can do this anywhere with any different type of ball or whatever else you want to do. First thing first, first question that we're going to ask is with this ball. I'm going to hold it out at shoulder height and then we're going to drop it. And when it drops, we're not going to throw it down, we're just going to let it drop. When I drop it on the table, is it going to bounce up lower, higher, or to the same height where it is right now? Make a prediction or a guess, and then we do it. Let's have the experiment and we'll see. Okay, rather well exciting, it dropped and it bounced up a little bit lower because when you hear it, it makes a sound and some of this energy is transferred into sound and also heat. And it bounces lower than it was because it's transferred some energy. You hear that sound that it makes, but it's also that energy that it has has been transferred from kinetic to sound and to heat. So you hear it. Okay, next thing we're going to try is with a tennis ball. We're going to hold a tennis ball. So with this tennis ball, I'd like you to make the same prediction. Do you think when I drop it, is it going to bounce higher, lower, or to the same height of where it is at the moment? Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, lower. Same kind of thing, bounces up a little bit lower. So we've seen what happened with both the tennis ball and the football. Now what we're gonna try and do is put the tennis ball on top of the football and repeat the experiment. And what I want you to try and make a guess at is what do you think is gonna to happen to the tennis ball this time when I drop it? Make a prediction, lower, higher, same height. You ready? Three, two, one. Boom. Perfect. <laughs> So, this is to do with the law of conservation of momentum. It takes a lot more energy to lift the ball up to this height of that weight than it does for a tennis ball. And when you drop them, this energy is transferred to the tennis ball, which is why it'll fly up into the air. Momentum is mass times velocity. Mass is the amount of matter or stuff an object has inside it, and velocity is its speed in a particular direction. And the law of conservation of momentum states that the amount of momentum you have before a collision is the same that you have after it. So when we drop the ball, the momentum that's in the football, which is heavier, is transferred to the tennis ball and whoa, it flies up in the air. Now we can try this with lots of different types of balls. You can try it yourself with different uh, combinations. You can either try it with like a different one like this. I've never tried this before. We'll see what happens. We've got a plastic ball, we've got a football, and we're gonna see if we can make this happen. I don't know, I've never tried this, let's see. But that's part of what experimenting's like. And the sound man might not be. That mic is totally fine. We don't need a new one. Yes, so try your own versions at home. Send them in to us. Different combinations, different balls. Maybe wear eye protection, possibly a mouth shield, but do it separate. With a basketball outside, this can go up to nine times higher than the original drop. So have fun with it. Send it in to us so we can have a look at it and have some fun, but stay safe and make sure you don't break anything. And all that is totally insured.